Hi, it's David Holmes, and I've got the Sunday School lesson for June the 28th. And this one is titled, The Power of God for Salvation. And it's based on 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 11. So the lesson this week is exploring the uh, idea that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Um, and it talks about this needing to be emphasized and repeated in a time when you get a lot of people saying that you know all religions are leading to the same God and that sort of stuff. Uh, Paul's writings don't seem to support that. Now this can put you in a difficult situation if you know someone asks do you believe so and so is going to get to heaven? Um, I try very hard not to put my personal views into these uh, videos uh, but I'm going to tell you what I say if I'm asked that question. My answer is always, you know what? I don't know about anybody else, but I know all Christians are getting to heaven, and therefore I'm going to do everything I can to make sure everybody's a Christian. Um, so the Leader's Guide compares the gospel to a group of kids getting get together to play baseball, and some kids have got bats and they've all got their gloves, but nobody thought to bring a ball. And but one kid says, well, let's just quit worrying about it and let's get on with the game. And the leader's guide is talking about if your church is just trying to get on with the game uh, without having the gospel, then it's just messing up. Um, so let's read 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 2. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to the word I preach to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. So Paul is saying that the, the gospel is forming our foundation, and we have to hold on to that gospel that he preached, or everything's going to be lost. And then in verses uh, 3 through 8, he says, For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and they, he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. So note that Paul didn't start off by saying this is my gospel, right? He passed on what had been given to him. Um, and the lesson points out, think about the similarity to the Apostles' Creed uh, that we sometimes read. And it says, you know, just like back then, we have to keep passing on this gospel uh, from generation to generation. And the resurrection has to be the focal point of our message. So then in verses 9 through 11, it says, For I am the least of the apostles, and do not even deserve to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whether then it is I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you have believed. So he started off with humility, you know, reminding them that he had persecuted the church and was guilty about that, so he was working twice as hard. But the whole crux of it was still, I am passing on the gospel, and the, and the story of the resurrection is the most important thing. 